The Himalayan mountains are home to the tallest and most treacherous mountain peaks in the world. Annapurna 1 is infamous for being one of the most difficult peaks to summit. At a staggering 26,545 feet tall, it is officially the 10th tallest mountain on the planet. While I haven't properly trained to climb to the top of this mountain just yet, today I am taking the first step in getting there. I will be embarking on the 68 mile round trip trek to the lower elevation Annapurna Base Camp. Join me as I experience what it's like to hike in the Himalayas. Along the way, I will be enjoying local food, sleeping in traditional mountain villages, and experiencing some of the most beautiful scenery of anywhere on earth. It isn't all fun and games though. As we get higher in elevation, I experience a debilitating sickness that might just get the best of me. Namaste from beautiful Pokhara, Nepal. Today we are beginning a six day trek to Annapurna Base Camp. This is supposed to be one of the most beautiful treks in the world and I cannot wait. From where we are in Pokhara, we have a three hour drive to get to the base of the mountain where we will start trekking. And then we have a five hour trek to the village of Chomrong where we will be staying tonight. Here's the vehicle we are taking, the Black Panther. What a perfect name. We got the Nepali jams going. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're like five minutes into our drive and we already have these beautiful peaks out the window. Now I see why we needed a 4x4 four four for this drive. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! That's about the Black Panther. <laughs> So beautiful out here! Well, that's pretty cool. We keep crossing these rivers with waterfalls in the road. It's so cool. Oh my god. Woo, that was deep. Woo About three hours later, we made, we made it. it. Just got dropped off on the side of the road here. Dev, you're the man. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Let's start to tracking, okay? Let's trek. So I trekked to Everest Base Camp about six months ago and had the greatest guide in the world. So I've met back up with him, t -Lock. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're doing Annapurna together. The base Camp. Annapurna, Annapurna Base, base camp. camp, yep. And with my dad as well. He talked me into it. So <laughs> we're at the trailhead right now. Let's get started. And then we've got Dev and Sorav here with us too. Thanks for carrying everything. You guys are awesome. Well, about two minutes in, we're starting off with a bang. Look at that suspension bridge. That is so long. Got a little donkey traffic. <laughs> this is the official start to the trail right here. This bridge is 260 meters long. 50 meters longer than any of the bridges on the Everest Base Camp track. This is so cool. This is bringing back all the memories from my last trek. There's just something so fun about being here. There are a bunch of rice terraces along here, along the river, so beautiful. There are five colors on the prayer flags in Nepal, all representing different elements. Yellow is the sun, green is the forest, red is the earth, white is the sky, and blue is the water. And they're meant for good luck and good fortune. Oh, dang it. It's walking backwards and I stepped right in it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's 
horrible medicine. Let me, let me try it. Okay. I can eat it? Yeah, uh, please. Just Stick. a little? Yeah. Like uh, in. Mm. Tastes like. Yeah. Tastes like mint. Mint, yeah. Yeah. Like Good. This, yeah. Two. Uh, mustard. This is a mustard pepper? Yes. Uh, oh, too spicy for me. Uh, it's got a little. It's a weird kick to it. Yeah. Oh, with an aftertaste, too. Uh, my tongue is numb. <laughs> We're just eating all the local herbs and spices on the trail today. We've just started our ascent on the stairs to Chomrong. We have 1,300 steps to get to the village where we're staying. And it's also 1,300 meters of elevation gain. We're at 1,700 meters of elevation right now. So when we get up there, we'll be about 3,000 meters. I love this village. It's so pretty. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> filming while walking up steps. Yeah. We've come to our first restaurant of the trek and we had to go with the Nepali classic dalbat. Lentils, rice, curried vegetables, the salad, the fried chips on top. Have you tried it yet? Uh, just a little bit. It's delicious so yeah, far. Yeah, so good. good. The green curry lentils are fantastic. Mm. You just pour them on, mix everything together. Best part of this restaurant, though. This view out the window. Look at that. Yeah, these guys are doing it the right way. Is that the traditional way? Yes. So this is what a typical home up here looks like. Looks like there's one main house here. And then a smaller guest house right behind it. And all of these building materials are brought up by porters. So they carry them on their heads to build all this. It's so impressive. This is a um, uh, wild fruit, okay? Uh -huh. I don't know, T-Lock. My mouth's still numb from the last one. F-I-G. Oh, fig. 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 Yeah. fig. Yeah, I'll try one. There's a small village all the way on that peak over there. And T-Lock said we're going to be trekking through it in about three days. It's crazy. So right off the bat, I think the biggest difference I've noticed so far between this trail and the Everest Base Camp Trail is that we are starting at a much lower elevation here. So we're able to breathe so much better, even though the beginning of this trail is much steeper than the start of the Everest Trail, it's more doable because we're still at a pretty low elevation. But both of them are so different and I'm excited to see the rest of this one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Love how peaceful it is up here. Only a couple hours from the hustle and bustle of Pokhara. But up here, it's just quiet, peaceful. So relaxing. That parking lot right there is where we started a couple hours ago. I'm guessing that says welcome to Chomrong. Because we just made it. What was that? Only only about two hours? We made it pretty fast. These are memorial stupas here where they honor the Deceased from the village. Not a bad spot. All right, here's the hotel we are staying at tonight. Panorama Point Lodge. Namaste. It looks we are nice. in the tomb room. Okay. Here, height. 2,171 meters from the sea level. Namaste, thank you. 
Yeah. Look at this over here. Got some corn hanging up on the side there, drying out. So right up on the top of the hotel here, there's a little rooftop deck. Without those clouds there, I bet those peaks are just incredible. Still beautiful though. Couldn't have picked a better room, right next to the viewpoint. Room number five. Yep. Here we go, all right. Mm. Nice. A small and typical room. Looks okay. like we got two. Home yeah. sweet home. Two twin beds here yeah. and uh, oh yeah, this is gonna be the winner right here. Yeah, and nice room view. With the view. The and do we have electricity? Here's the moment of truth. Oh yeah. Let's do a bed test here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. I didn't actually even see this at first. We have our own private bathroom, which is great. Oh, Western toilet. Betcha. Nice. Oh, that style. And a shower, too. Some trash out the window. Got a few spider webs here around the shower head, no big deal. All right, so short day today, but it was a beautiful hike. And we've arrived in Chomrong. It's only about 3.30, I don't even know what to do the rest yeah, of the day. <laughs> got all day. The only one thing this room doesn't have is outlets. So we might not be able to charge anything tonight. Our man Namaste. Dev made it. Namaste. Thank you for bringing the bags. Thank you. How you coming? So hot water is hit or miss on this trail. But we have it here. I just took a hot shower. And it was magical. I'm gonna enjoy that while it lasts because I know it won't last for long. So far, this trail is awesome. These doors lock from, from both sides and it's locked from the outside so I can't get out. Are you stuck in I'm there? I'm stuck. <laughs> There we go. Uh, that's, a, that's better. <laughs> we have about an hour until dinner, so I'm just gonna hang out out here and enjoy these views. Clouds cleared a little bit, those peaks are coming out. The sun is going down, the clouds are dissipating. Look at that sunset over Fishtail. That is beautiful. The shades of pink on the front of the mountain just look amazing. Namaste. It is dinner time. Started off with a fresh little mint tea with mint they picked from the garden. We've got some, what'd you order over here? I got the momo and the fried potatoes. Oh, how's the yak cheese? Uh, haven't even noticed. <laughs> Must be okay. I ordered some fried noodles with vegetables and eggs. <laughs> It's like chow mein noodles, it's really good. On our Everest trek, every single night after dinner, t -Lock would cut up an apple and bring it to us for dessert. Well, he's done the same here tonight, but he's taken it one step further. Not only did he bring us an apple, he brought us a piece of apple pie as well. This guy's too good to be true. It's crazy that they have all this up in these villages, so high up in the mountains. Perfect end to a first day. Namaste and good morning from the village of Chomrong. It is day two of our trek to Annapurna Base Camp. Today we have a 10 kilometer trek to the village of Himalaya. Our trail today is sort of gonna be a roller coaster. We start with some downhill, come back up, a little more down, and then back up until we reach our destination. We have about six hours of trekking, and today is supposed to be a beautiful, beautiful trail. We have woken up to an absolutely beautiful morning here. Clouds cleared out. And the sun is shining on the peaks. Just absolutely incredible. So we decided to have our breakfast out here today. A little breakfast with a view. 
hard to beat that view. It really is. So this is a pretty traditional breakfast while trekking. Most of the villages have their own chickens, so they get all of their eggs fresh. They grow their own potatoes. So we have some curried potatoes as well. And they grow cabbage, beans and garlics. They make everything fresh. The only thing they have to bring up is the fruit and the bread. This all looks really good. Yeah. Oh, Just upside. namaste. namaste. <laughs> Brought me a chair cushion, thank you. How are you feeling today? Very well, very Good. well, very well. I'm very exciting, uh, our team. Yes, so we have a good you? team. Best guide in the world. One last look at our little tea house. Tea lock always keeping us safe from the donkeys. This peak here is called Fishtail because the locals say that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. I think that's pretty spot on. Started the first big downhill of the day. We are hiking all around here and down to the river. So every couple miles we have to do a checkpoint, so T-Lock is handling our tourist cards for us, and then we got Dev, our porter, over there with our bags. Since the last video, I got a lot of questions about hiring a porter and a guide, or whether people should just do it on their own. For me, it's a no-brainer. I felt bad at the beginning having someone else carry my stuff, but then T-Lock said, never ever feel bad being a porter is these guys jobs they love the work they need the work so don't ever feel bad doing that and not to mention how much it helps us i love having a guide as well i wouldn't know how to do any of these tourist checkpoints or where to go so for me it's a no-brainer hire a company i'll link the company that i use in the description alpine ramble treks are the best in the world so book a trek with them and you won't regret it Dad, while we wait, let's get some extra stair work in. Oh, oh, almost slipped. <laughs> it's kind of cool being at this lower elevation. A lot more crops are able to be grown. So there's a farmer down here. We think this is millet. There's some green beans in the background. And these are all rice fields right here. It's like this rice is ready to harvest. Woo! Wow, cooling off with the river water. It's cold? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> uh, in the Buddhist religion, we have uh, three kind of praying things, okay? One is the monastery, that calls Nepali name is Dumba. And then one is the istupa, and then one is the man. All right, we've come to our first stupa. Yeah. And these are the prayer reels, which represent good luck, fortune. No. You always go clockwise. That's an impressive harvest right there. Yeah. Namaste. Yeah. Beautiful little waterfall there, and then this is Annapurna South. 7,219 meters. There are six Annapurna mountain peaks. Only one of them is over 8,000 meters, Annapurna 1. And we'll be able to see that mountain from base camp. We're almost to the bottom now. That is the river right there. And then we go back up all of these stairs, about 1,500 meters, back up to the top. First suspension bridge of the day! <laughs> the challenge begins. Two hours of straight uphill. Oh boy. <laughs> we got this team. All this green is so stunning. 
You really only get green like this and trees like this on the Everest Trail for a day, maybe two. And then your altitude gets so high that none of this stuff grows anymore. So this is pretty cool. Up there is where we slept last night. We've been going down, 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 and back up to where we are now. There's some poison ivy along the trail. I accidentally ran into some. t lock told me to put snot on it for my nose. <laughs> Couldn't tell if it was a joke or not. But I'm not he's not joking. <laughs> I did it and it actually helped. Oh, those things are nasty though. That itch is really bad. He has been a guide for 16 years and he knows everybody on the trail. <laughs> every couple minutes. Azur! La! <laughs> He's making, talking to his friends. <laughs> we made it. We're here. <sighs> we finished our long uphill trek. We've stopped for a quick snack, the best trekking snack in the world. Oreos dipped in hot chocolate. Oh, yeah. We tried one yet? Yeah, very good. So good. Probably gonna get sick of me talking about the views, but <laughs> look at that. It doesn't get any better. Monkeys. One just jumped across the road. Very cool. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh. Ow. Ow. Whoa, those are cool looking monkeys. Oh, they're black faces with the white yeah, fur around. That's, that's so cool. cool. Wasn't expecting to see monkeys on the trail today, but man, that is cool. Oh. This trail is much nicer than the uphill. t -Lock said this is Nepali flat. So flat at some parts, and then a little bit of uphill. We are just arriving in the village of Bamboo, and rightfully so. There's bamboo everywhere. This village is awesome. Surrounded by bamboo, mountains, waterfalls. Incredible. We just finished up a delicious lunch at the bamboo village. I had one of the best dal bots I've ever had. For the vegetables, they served us green beans. Same ones that we've been seeing all along the trail, so they're super fresh. Had some veg momos as well. And then t -Lock brought us out a huge plate of apples, bananas, and pomegranates. So my stomach is feeling good. Three more hours to Himalaya. That is the first time I've ever seen goats on a trek. Jeez, they're coming in fast. <laughs> Look at those things go. Oh my gosh, there are hundreds of these. Where are these all coming from? Where are these coming from? <laughs> these guys are haul- Oh my gosh! <laughs> he just jumped like three feet off the ground. Look how fast they're going. <laughs> I almost ran them off the end. So I thought the goats were almost done. Yeah, never ending goes right now. Okay, that's really cute actually, the little babies over there. Yeah. Cuteness overload right now. One waterfall, two waterfalls, three waterfalls, four waterfalls. These are some of the best views I've ever hiked to. There's another one there too. 
Another picturesque little village with a water, oh, some laundry and a waterfall in the background. <laughs> t locks had a long day. <laughs> Well, T-Lock really undersold this place. He said we were going to a stupa, but he did not mention this waterfall next to it. Wow. So this stupa was just built a year ago, and I think it has now become my new favorite stupa. Namaste. 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 We, we made, made it. Woo-hoo! Okay. Himalaya. 2920 meter approximately from the sea level. Turns out I was very off in my numbers this morning of how far we'd be trekking today. We left Chomrong this morning at 8 o'clock. It's now 5.30, so we have been trekking for nine and a half hours. According to the watch, we did 10.72 miles. Burned 2,100 calories and gained 4,000 feet of elevation. So that is a pretty big trekking day. Brutal trekking day. <laughs> Here we are, Himalaya. Looks like this is home for the night. See a lot of vegetables over here, which is always a good thing. Nice and fresh. Those green beans, so huge. It's so funny, we've had the exact same menus, same pictures, same foods at the last three tea houses we've been to. <laughs> Eggs, fried rice, momos, dalbat, lots of variety. <laughs> Potatoes. All right, so here's our room. There are four beds in here. When we got here, there was actually someone already staying in here. And T-Lock went and talked to the owners and somehow kicked them out. So we just have the room to ourselves. No bathroom in here. Let's do a quick look at the bathroom. So here's the sink. Oh, wow. We have a shower and a toilet in here. Not too bad. We just came into the dining hall for dinner. We've got a nice backrest here with some pillows and blankets. And here's what the rest of it looks like. So for dinner I ordered a vegetable noodle soup and this is like a ramen noodle pack with some cabbage. Got some pasta with tomatoes and a side of eggs. <laughs> Just a normal dinner, right? And a little pizza for me. Mushroom cheese pizza. Yeah, it's good. It's not bad? Yeah. First yak cheese pizza. These ramen noodles are actually hitting the spot. Look at that steam. He's feeding me so much food. <laughs> he just brought us an apple pie with some apples, as if this food wasn't enough. <laughs> Thank you. Here's how we sleep. Each bed comes with a blanket and a pillow. And then I have a sleeping bag liner that I get inside of and then put the blanket on top of me. And we have sleeping bags as well if it gets too cold. Things took a little turn for the worse. I don't know why I keep shaking. So I started flying the drone and it said it was in an area that's not authorized because the airport's close. So I flew it just for a second and it auto landed. I've uh, never seen that before. It landed on someone's rooftop. So I've got to go find it. So I know it landed on one of these roofs over here, but it, they all look the same. <laughs> no just, way. We just saw a lady up on her rooftop holding the drone, like shaking it like she didn't know what it was. So we just, we just signaled to her. Okay, I think it's in here. Hello, namaste. Um, do you speak English? Yeah. Okay. We have a drone. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. I, I was flying the drone and it just automatically landed on top of your roof. So <laughs> I can't believe that. Holy cow. How did we find that? I don't have any idea. You're stinking lucky. <laughs>